G'day, I'm Gary Pike. If you want to have total control over the performance of your actor's face and the expressions and the gestures that they make with it, then you need to learn the facial clip timeline. So today I'm going to show you the three individual timelines that come under the facial clip and what they do. If you select your character and open the timelines at the bottom, you'll see Larry Stickman here. Select the face, that will open the facial clip timeline. Select that and you'll get three individual timelines underneath, the head, the face, and the eye. And each of these is responsible for controlling a different part of the face. If we move forward to frame 10, so we can see the changes that will be made, and then open the face key editor. Open the morph tab and you'll see the head rotation gizmo. When I left click on my mouse and hold the mouse key, mouse key down, as I move the head around, Larry's head will rotate because he has a 360 head. When I release the mouse, you'll see a keyframe turns up on the head timeline track to let us know that we're going to change the head rotation from this position to that position over 10 frames. All that's changing is just the rotation of the overall head. With the face timeline, that controls the individual elements within the face other than the eyes. So everything, the mouth, the nose, everything else inside the face will be controlled and deformed using the face detail settings. Get rid of the head gizmo for a second. If we go into the template tab and open our detail face settings, again, move forward to frame 10. We can control the brow, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth using these sliders. If we go to Larry's eyes and we move the slider to the right, you'll see that his eyes will squint. And again, a keyframe will turn up at frame 10, letting us know that frame one, his eyes are open, and at frame 10, his eyes will start to close. So when you play your animation, that's what happens. Now you're starting to get a lot smoother animation through your character's face instead of just using sprite swapping. Finally, you have the eye timeline track. If we close that one off and open up the morph tab, if you select the eyes on the model here so that they go orange, meaning that they're selected, again, slide forward. Now on the outside of the model here, Hold down the left mouse button, move it around, and Larry's eyes will move as well. And a timeline, a keyframe is going to turn up on your timeline here to let you know that your eyes have shifted position, your iris has shifted position from frame one to frame 10. So that's what we end up with. So that's how you can have total control over every element of your actor's face to create a wonderfully smooth animation. Experiment with each of these tabs, play with them, see what they do. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.